Welcome back to the second part of this live newscast and its perspective. And today uh, we delve into the matters, uh, devolution, and more importantly, funding for the counties. It's almost it's almost a month uh, since uh, the second uh, uh, since 2019, 2020 uh, budget was read, uh, but the counties have not received a single penny. Why? Because the Division of Revenue Bill is yet to be passed by both houses. And there is a stalemate that uh, has led to the case being taken to the Supreme Court. And to, to, to dive straight into the matter, I'm joined by Johnson Osoi, who is the Chairman County Assemblies Forum. Good Karib evening. Thank you. Uh, thank you indeed for making time for us. Let's well, start uh, with the County Assemblies Forum. Something small about it. Uh, County Assemblies Forum is the national coordinating body of the 47 legislatures at the county level, which was established um, under the Societies Act by like-minded speakers in 2013, uh, bearing in mind that intergovernmental relations, uh, intergovernmental relations uh, act uh, establishes the Council of Governors, mm -hmm. but then um, the the drafters and the framers of the constitution and enabling statutes mm -hmm. forgot that legislative bodies required to be put together as well. Mm -hmm. So in the absence of such legislation, mm -hmm. we came together in 2013, and I have the privilege of serving for the second term mm -hmm. running, uh, and established this forum called County Assemblies uh, Forum. Mm -hmm. who, who are the members of County Assemblies Forum? Mm -hmm. First, 47 speakers of county assemblies, mm -hmm. all the MCAs, mm -hmm. 2,249 MCAs of the Republic of Kenya. Mm -hmm. We have, of course, the leadership of the county assemblies. We have structures such as the EXCOM, which I chair at the national level, mm -hmm. assisted by the governing council, made up, which is an electoral college mm -hmm. of 150 members. Mm -hmm. That is CAF. Uh, today, I was at the Supreme Court, and so are you, uh, yes. in regards to the petition filed by the Council of Governors. Uh, the counties haven't received a single penny since the budget was read, yes. almost a month now. And um, actually, it has, uh, the, the governor said it has halted a lot of uh, operations in the county. What are counties relying on as we speak to run operations? Uh, ordinarily, at mm -hmm. this time of the year, mm -hmm you do not access any uh, monies mm -hmm. so um, it's still too early to really uh, make a lot noise uh, of noise about it mm -hmm. but then um, it is worrying mm -hmm. to note mm -hmm. that until now we do not have what is called uh, the division of revenue act yes the division of revenue act is provided for under article 218 of our constitution mm -hmm. that um until you know your share, mm -hmm. you cannot budget. Because what are you budgeting? Yes. And that is what we went to the Supreme Court today. Mm -hmm. And for the record, um, it was not just Council of Governors. Yes. Indeed. Today, before the Supreme Court, mm -hmm. was a Council of Governors led by their chairman uh, and vice chair, mm -hmm. Governor Soparanya and, and Wairia, mm -hmm. the Senate led by the Senate leadership, the leader of majority and leader of minority, uh, and the county assemblies led by myself mm -hmm. and other uh, leaders from the county assemblies, mm -hmm. which is a very rare um, occasion to see governors and MCAs and senators agreeing on one issue. Ordinarily, yes. there is a lot of animosity between yes. Governors and MCAs. Yes. You saw the other day Governor of uh, Taita Taveta calling for dissolution of the county assembly. Yes. And we are on record telling him that he doesn't have such powers. Mm -hmm. But um, so we are having problems as a country today mm -hmm. because the division of revenue is not in place. Mm -hmm. That is number one. Yes. Number two, mm -hmm. whether county governments mm -hmm. that have been able to do a budget mm -hmm. or budget estimates. Yes have engaged in an illegality mm -hmm. is a matter we are seeking to have interpretation by the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. Two, mm -hmm. whether the division or the Appropriation Act, mm -hmm. which was ascended to by His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta, yes. is legal in the first place. Because 
National Assembly passed an appropriation bill. Mm -hmm. It was ascended to by, by the president mm -hmm. in the absence of compliance with articles of the constitution. Mm -hmm. And because nobody is competent enough mm -hmm. to decide whether a matter is constitutional or not, mm -hmm except a court of competent jurisdiction. Yeah. There cannot be a better court mm -hmm. than the Supreme Court itself. Indeed. We have taken this to the president of the Supreme Court, mm -hmm. who is the Chief Justice, uh, Justice Maraga, and his team to advise Kenyans mm -hmm. on whether for posterity mm -hmm. we should engage in this kind of games mm -hmm where the, sen the National Assembly Majority Leader mm -hmm. speaks as though he is president of this country mm -hmm. and as if the money mm -hmm. Parliament is sharing or budgeting mm -hmm. belongs to Parliament. That money belongs to Kenyans. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now that the, the Appropriations Act was, uh, has already been ascended to by the president, uh, you still, uh, still want to challenge that? Yes. yes. What we are saying uh -huh is that the president may have engaged in an illegality. Okay. That is why we are in the Supreme Court. So you'll be seeking an interpretation of the law yes. on the same? Yes, it yes. is one of the points mm -hmm. that we are seeking interpretation on. Mm -hmm. Does, can parliament, mm -hmm. national assembly to be specific, yes. in the absence of mediation, mm -hmm. can national assembly purport mm -hmm. to enact an appropriation bill, mm -hmm. and it is ascended by the president mm -hmm. uh, without uh, compliance to Article 218. What this means, mm -hmm. my friend, is that if we let this go mm -hmm. and it becomes the norm, mm -hmm. then devolution is under threat. And what is division of revenue? Mm -hmm. Under Article 216, mm -hmm. the Commission on Revenue Allocation is established to share mm -hmm. what is called shareable revenue. Mm -hmm. And what are the considerations? One, national interest. Mm -hmm. Is in devolution a matter of national interest? It, it is. is. It is. Number two, yes. functions that are devolved under the fourth schedule, uh -huh. part two of our <laughs> constitution. Mm -hmm. For example, mm -hmm. health is health services is fully devolved. Yes. But the monies remaining at the national level mm -hmm. In the Ministry of Health, mm -hmm. you'll be shocked. Equivalent to a budget of nine counties. And you wonder what for? Mm -hmm. They don't pay remuneration for healthcare workers. Mm -hmm. They don't uh, buy commodities for healthcare, mm -hmm. like me med medications mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and other stuff. Mm -hmm. So what is that money for? Mm -hmm. I mean, money should follow, or resources should follow devolved functions. Okay. So if a function uh -huh. is devolved, yes. the money should also follow the, div the, the devolved functions. And Speaker, there has been calls for counties to first account for uh, what the cash that already you've been receiving, uh, even the Auditor General has questioned some audit in some counties. Uh, there have been calls for, first of all, account for what you have before you request for more money. What's your take Very on good, this? very good. Yes. It is like saying, mm -hmm. because there are audit queries, yes. The government, mm -hmm. even at the national level, should be starved of money. Mm -hmm. Are you aware that State House has the highest number of audit queries? <laughs> Are you saying okay. that the presidency yes. should be starved of resources until they account for it? Uh -huh. What I am saying, yes. and this should be very clear, mm -hmm. we are not asking or seeking for more resources in place of accountability. Mm -hmm. That is not the point. Yes. The point is we must be held accountable uh -huh. because one of the objects of devolution under Article 174 mm -hmm. is exercise of accountable and democratic uh, exercise of power. Yes. All right? So um, there are agencies in this country mm -hmm. that are tasked to ensure mm -hmm. that Kajiado County Assembly, for instance, mm -hmm an entity mm -hmm. that is audited by the Auditor General mm -hmm. complies with fiscal responsibility mm -hmm. in terms of public finances, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. And any attempt to do anything different mm -hmm. or contravention of the, provide of the laws, mm -hmm. um, there, I think there are enough uh, mechanisms in place mm -hmm. 
the Auditor General is there, the Control of Budget is there, the DCI is there, the ESEC is there. Mm -hmm. Any state officer mm -hmm. who misuses public resources mm -hmm. or, or whether by way of theft or yes. otherwise mm -hmm. should be held accountable. Okay. But that doesn't mean, mm -hmm. and this is the narrative that the national government is using to ensure mm -hmm. that they starve counties of money. Mm -hmm. Are you saying Kimwarer Dam is a matter of counties? It is not. Mm -hmm. The maize saga, is it a matter of counties? It okay. is not. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, we will uh, touch on that uh, later, but the county revenue yes. can help boost even the budget yes. that uh, counties have. Yes. And also boost the cash that the national government uh, actually collects. Yes. As counties, where are we when it comes to revenue uh, collections? Uh, from 2013, mm -hmm there has been great improvement in revenue collection. Okay. But it must also be remembered mm -hmm. that there is a thin line mm -hmm. between improving on revenue collection mm -hmm. and ensuring that there is uh, a business-friendly environment. Mm -hmm. Because some of the businesses mm -hmm. that, we, that counties collect revenue from run a risk of being uh, double taxed, mm -hmm. you find uh, a branded vehicle is taxed in Nairobi, it mm -hmm. crosses in Mulolongo, that is Machakos, it mm -hmm. crosses to Kitengela, that mm -hmm. is Kajiado. Mm -hmm. So in a day, uh, if they tax uh, from uh, advertising, that would be three counties mm -hmm. uh, charging different rates. Mm -hmm. So uh, it is one of the hurdles. Mm -hmm. Number two, mm -hmm. it is worth noting yes. that CRA, the mm -hmm. Commission on Revenue Allocation, yes. has one of the parameters of um, allocation of revenue being fiscal responsibility. Mm -hmm. Meaning, you collect more revenue, you get more. You collect less, mm -hmm. you get less. By the way, mm -hmm. it is one of the, of the parameters, yes. and it, it attracts a percentage. Uh -huh. uh, Kajiado was one of the most improved this year uh -huh. and got some additional revenue, revenue yes. from, from that. Uh -huh. um, lastly, mm -hmm. on source revenue, mm -hmm is revenue for, from taxpayers. Yes. We must remember mm -hmm. that all the monies we are talking about mm -hmm. does not belong to, even the, the own source revenue collected by Nairobi does yes. not belong to Nairobi yes. until it goes to a central account called mm -hmm. the County Revenue mm -hmm. Fund, and, yes. CRF. Yes. And then from <coughs> there, mm -hmm. they are able to, to access the money. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, uh, of course, there is the Punguza Muzigo Initiative. Yes. And, of course, you've heard that uh, so many people intend to petition uh, because they feel that the, 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 the counties are really, really overloaded. And um, it aims at also uh, checking the counties in terms of representation. If such uh, a bill uh, comes through, would you, would you really support it as a, as a forum? Yes, I am on record. Um a couple of days ago, mm -hmm. supporting the Punguza Muzigo Initiative, mm -hmm. county assemblies mm -hmm. would be the first point of call mm -hmm. for any popular initiative. Mm -hmm. 24 county assemblies need to pass a bill mm -hmm. uh, so that it moves to the referendum. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can tell you, mm -hmm. without any fear of, uh, of contradiction, of contradiction yes. that county assemblies would support any initiative that will see, number one, mm -hmm. additional allocation of resources to counties. Okay. Two, mm -hmm. that would make the Senate the mm -hmm. upper house. The impunity we see with the National Assembly is totally uncalled for. Mm -hmm. We reduced the powers of the presidency in this constitution mm -hmm. and created, without knowing, an imperial parliament, National Assembly. That so, is why Duale <laughs> speaks the way he does. Yes. yes. So f from that, it seems the sibling rivalry between the Senate and the, and the National Assembly is yes. not about to end. Uh, but the <laughs> Deputy President had, uh, over the weekend, mm -hmm. talked about you guys coming back to the drawing board and no need for courts. But today in the morning, it was the first thing uh, that the Council of Governors and the County Assemblies and the Senators, uh, amazingly, you said, actually, it's, a, it's quite a, a, a trio, Mm -hmm. uh, they were first, first thing in the morning, they were the Supreme Court. Yes. Are you ready perhaps to go back to the drawing board? Because you can withdraw the petition and perhaps have a sit down again. 
I Who's can there? tell you yes. for a fact, uh -huh. uh, any negotiations should be done, uh, if at all, yes. uh, in, in respect of the petition that is already filed mm -hmm. for an advisory. Mm -hmm. Anything that should be done outside that, mm -hmm. we will not be party to it. Mm -hmm. Why? Remember, mm -hmm. this is the seventh year since devolution came into being. Yes. The national government, mm -hmm. specifically National Assembly, mm -hmm. has been consistent in ensuring that they reduce allocation to counties uh, from recommendations mm -hmm. of, the, of the CRA. Yes. CRA, mm -hmm. Uh, in 2013-2014 financial year yes. did not come up with ceilings. Mm -hmm. In 2014-2015, they mm -hmm. slapped counties with, um, with ceilings which were arbitrary. Mm -hmm. We went to court mm -hmm. under a petition mm -hmm. called uh, Petition No. 368 mm -hmm. of 2014, mm -hmm. in which case Justice Isaac Lenaola pronounced mm -hmm. himself on the matter and said that the CRA has a constitutional mandate to issue an advisory on division of revenue and allocation of revenue. Mm -hmm. But then those figures are nothing but a shopping list mm -hmm. until, <laughs> until the Senate yes. breathes life yes. into those issues by way of legislation. Uh -huh. Now, making a Senate mm -hmm. subservient to a national uh, assembly, yes. which uh, interestingly, mm -hmm. does not represent another, a different set of Kenyans. Okay. There are no Kenyans yes. represented by Dwale and his team, mm -hmm. different from Kenyans <laughs> represented by governors, ourselves, and senators. Yes. Wanjiko is the same, isn't she? Yes. Whether yes. you yes. are seated at the National Assembly, at the Senate, or, or the Senate, county Senate or county assembly, or governor. <laughs> Indeed. Yes. My yes. director <laughs> tells me our time <laughs> is up, but Thank uh, you. just uh, 30 seconds, yes. uh, the, the Senator Orengo today yes. at the Supreme Court talked about um, the, 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 the National Treasury and the government uh, really fighting uh, devolution. The, 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 they are draining uh, the, the, the steps made by devolution. Do you support? Yes. Um, it should be remembered yes. very clearly that uh, the fight to have devolution started a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Even in the Moi era, the cry mm -hmm. from Kenyans was for them to be part of the center yes. where resources mm -hmm. are divided, mm -hmm. which started a way, way back uh, from the uh, poverty reduction strategy paper, mm -hmm. um, economic recovery strategy paper when Kibaki came into being, mm -hmm. that led us to a constitutional uh, architecture mm -hmm. in 2010 mm -hmm. when we adopted this constitution. Mm -hmm. My last comment, mm -hmm. chapter 11 of our constitution, mm -hmm. and Senator Orengo alluded to this fact today, yes. other than the Bill of Rights, mm -hmm. is perhaps one of the most fundamental changes mm -hmm. in our governance structure, mm -hmm. a gift to Kenyans. Yes. We must guard it with all jealousy, we must guard it with all the strength to the last drop of our blood, yes. because all Wanjiko got uh -huh. is devolution. Indeed. In the absence of that, we go back to the imperial uh, uh, dictatorship. Indeed. Thank you. Thank you indeed so much, Mr. Johnson Osoi, who is the chair Thank you. Uh, a county assemblies a forum. Indeed, uh, that's where we put a cap uh, on perspective uh, this evening. Remember, this conversation continues, uh, and even uh, this conversation uh, continues on Friday when there will be a mention at the Supreme Court, and definitely we'll be keeping you updated on those happening. Indeed, uh, we are continuing with our news, so don't go away. Thank you for having me around.